Okay, so there's probably going to be a drop in audio and maybe video quality. Um, that's because while I was filming my last batch of videos, this was a video I completely forgot to do. Uh, somehow I missed in my notes. So for this video I'm going to be using again my uh, Lumix GX800 which I used for the intro of my bedroom overhaul reveal video. Um, I don't exactly know how this one is going to turn out considering I haven't used this since uh, doing up the bedroom. Uh, well for videos anyway. So uh, let's just get on with this and do the video I completely forgot about. So hey, it's Harry Husky, and for this video I'm going to be looking at a microphone uh, that I ended up getting quite cheap on AliExpress. Now the microphone does have a brand name and there is a manufacturer behind it. Um, I am able to find the name of the manufacturer, it would be right down here, but I cannot find the exact product name for this particular microphone. Um, but if anyone does know what this is, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I can't exactly remember off the top of my head what it is and I don't really want to get it wrong just in case. But uh, uh, the reason I haven't been able to find that out is because as of recording this video, the item is no longer for sale uh, on AliExpress or anywhere I've been able to find for the matter. And you're probably about to find out why it's not for sale on there anymore. Um, yeah. Now I bought this microphone purely out of curiosity just to see what it would be like. Um, a £10 XLR microphone, uh, which uh, usually a lot of them, a lot of the good ones cost around hundreds, to just over £150. And uh, I may have made a bad decision doing that. Well at one point I did get the microphone working fine, it took ages, and then I went back to use it with the exact same set as I got to use uh, to get it working, and then things just went downhill from there. So I'm going to be going into the unboxing of the microphone, some audio tests, and uh, that's pretty much it. There was supposed to be more than that uh, for this particular video, but um, let's just get straight to the unboxing. Alright, so just going to jump straight right into it, so here we have the package which I have uh, pre-opened because I didn't want to spend all, the, all day trying to open it with these big paws on camera. Um, so, just, and I had a little bit of difficulty getting it out, that was because there was some sticky stuff right inside it. It might have been some kind of glue or something, but it was really, really hard to get off. And I just got some of my first stuff onto it, so I'm going to have to be very careful here. Um, Hopefully it hasn't ripped any of it out and it's still quite stuck so what we finally got this just gonna tip it out and also be careful so I don't show anything personal like my address and as you can probably see the box <laughs> is coming uh, didn't really stand a chance in the post they probably shouldn't have sent it in a package like that they should have just probably sent it in a box but anyway here it is Fairly easy to open, no difficulty there. I'm going to tip everything right out of the box. If I can get it out of the box. So here we have um, the sponge, which just fell out. And somewhere in there is the actual microphone itself right here. So in terms of contents in the box, there really isn't a lot other than the sponge, the microphone itself, and uh, product certification and I think there's there's also product warranty card but there's not really uh, and most of it is in Chinese so great I'm gonna put that to one side because I don't really need it for this video and here we have just the sponge in the microphone all wrapped up in bowl wrap I don't know if that slides out or is that yep it's taped and uh, I'm gonna have to uh, work out how to get this off Alright, so I just worked it off, so there is some tape right at the top there that was on the packaging, so it should be able to just slide off with ease now. And there we have it. So here we have the microphone itself. Uh, we got our XLR plug-in, and considering the price I paid, um, it's actually got a pretty good quality feel to it. Now, um, there is no indication of power to tell you that the microphone is off or on but I imagine that's probably the standard thing with microphones like this in this style and now to try and take the sponge out I'll have to do that off camera for quite for reasons I think it's pretty obvious but I'll have to just like tear right into it because this tape is on really good
Okay, so I got that out. And here. And it. And there we have it. So we have our sponge, our windshield, pretty much. And I'm going to try and see if I can get it on the actual microphone itself. Ooh. Hang on. Alright, so now we have our windshield on the microphone itself. But, um... Now, just keep in mind that if you do buy this, it won't come with a adapter or a mount or something like that. So what I'm going to do is use this one, which I bought on eBay for um, uh, twelve pounds fifty, I think it was question mark. But uh, either way, it wasn't really that expensive. It does have a uh, shoe hole adapter to use on top of DSLR cameras, and it does have a threaded bit at the bottom. But I will be using an adapter to mount this onto the likes of tripods or whatever. But um, I will be able to mount it on most things fine. So uh, let's just. Put that aside, so there we have our microphone, and let's just see how this thing sounds. Now for this next part of the video, I'm actually going to be you doing some audio tests um, using voice actors. The reason I didn't do this myself was because of the way the, of the shape of my muzzle and the way uh, my speech tends to project out of it. Um, it really wouldn't do justice. Now because I didn't have any mounts prior to this for the XLR microphone, I did actually end up finding one on eBay, but it wasn't really suited well for the uh, length of the microphone itself. It was one of those mounts that uses the rubber rings or whatever you call them, the what do you call them, the things that are made of rubber. So I put one end uh, with the microphone itself and the other end I tangle it up a little bit so it contains the wire and uh, holds it in place. <laughs> so it was a bit of a bodge, but uh, if it works then it ain't stupid I guess. So there will be two different microphones um, being used for this test. The first microphone you will hear is on my Rode video mic, and then the second test is with this AliExpress £10 microphone. And the other thing I want to point out is that um, I have not altered the audio in any way. I have not turned the volume up, I have not done any altering at all in any form whatsoever, so you will hear the audio exactly as it is and exactly as it sounds from the two microphones. So starting off with the Rode video mic, According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. And if we go on to the AliExpress microphone, According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. A bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. And let's do that one more time so you can compare, once again, the difference between the two microphones. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies away. Because bees don't care, what humans think is impossible. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies away. Because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Now for this next test, I was getting ready to go out and test it out in the uh, local areas because again, uh, lockdown restrictions, I'm not able to go anywhere. <laughs> um, but uh, just as I was getting ready to set it up, I used exactly the same settings on the preamp as I did before. And uh, absolutely nothing came out of the microphone. I just literally couldn't get anything out. So just to be absolutely sure, I hooked my Rode video mic to the preamp, just to be sure that it wasn't the preamp that was uh, playing up or anything, and uh, I did manage to get some audio out of it in the end. Now, even to this day, I've spent weeks trying to get the microphone working well prior to uh, when I was supposed to be filming this video, um, but even then, I do actually have it right here, and this... I just cannot get working at all. So, do I recommend this microphone? Uh, just for your sake, I can't. I cannot recommend this 
yet, or I don't know if I ever will be able to recommend it. There was also one other issue I found out with this, and uh, prior to buying this, I have actually used a lot of XLR microphones and cameras that have used XLR microphones in the past, and what happened with this, I have not experienced with any of them. The other issue I would have is this microphone is very, very sensitive to the tiniest of little movements, or if you move the camera about, there will be creaking, there will be a lot of tapping, there will be a lot of clipping. All a lot of stuff that I've just never ever heard from any other XLR microphone of this kind. So, um, yeah. I think that sums it all up. So with that, I'm going to leave this video right there. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, goodbye. Actually, just before I go, I really, really want to get a mirrorless camera that has microphone input and a shoe hole at the top because um, the Lumix GX800 is a really good little camera but um, it has no microphone plug-in and it's just an ideal for certain things like particularly when filming video the microphone's audio quality isn't very good usually depending on the settings you use but uh, yeah so let's just leave it there and uh, this time really goodbye for now <laughs>